What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Star Wars The Old Republic. Today we are continuing on trying to catch up for the 7.5 content that's coming out sometime in the near future. I've got the Old Wounds storyline that we're about to begin. I think this one is like 7.3 if I remember correctly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just pretty much launch the mission, go right into it and take it from there. So if you guys enjoy this, leave it a like on a on this video makes a huge difference we'll see if we hit that like 20 30 like goal as usual and uh we'll go from there so let's launch it let's get into it and see what we got with the storyline in its current place uh the last time by the way just as a quick recap jay vizsla was uh injured they had like the giant duel um which was pretty cool the cinematic for that was actually pretty awesome to watch uh and then you could also make a choice uh to help choose whether or not uh we'd either help her cheat or let it be fair and square but yeah um let's see what we got going on next hmm A word of caution, Lord Sovu. If my time investigating Darth Nal's work has taught me anything, she did not like visitors. I do not fear the dead. I knew the moment you asked me here, you finally understood your limitations. It is no secret. Your role in the hand of the Empire should have gone to me. You are clever, I'll grant you that, but weak. We were never truly equals. Your expertise does have its uses, however. Get on with it. As you wish. Hmm. Saber. Do you know what this is? You not? No, of course you don't. The don't mouse either. shows some teeth. <laughs> Amusing. But look at this. You've saved me so much time, Rivix. Don't do anything foolish. You're right, Sobu. We are not equals. But you do have your uses. Hmm. Priority message for the commander. I've found something very interesting. I'll kill you. Oh. I don't fear the dead either. Put it down. We're five of minutes course. in and somebody's already getting executed. Tau Adair, isn't it? Psst. 
I'm not here to talk. What a shame. Okay, that was actually a good play there. Not bad, pulling out like that. Would you look at that? Perfect timing. Ah, here we go. I've only just arrived, and you're already here to welcome me. Your hospitality is awe-inspiring. Message sounded important. He found something belonging to Darth Null. I believe so. As for what it is, that is still a mystery. I have a theory, but that is all it is. A theory. I brought it to you in the hope that you could confirm it. Colonel Gola and Talos Drelik have been hard at work, combing through everything we've found, using the data to pinpoint other locations that may have been under Darth Null's control. But their expertise only reaches so far. You, however, have specialists and resources at your disposal that could identify what we've found. If it belonged to an ancient Sith, then it's something Sana Rey should help with. But she's still in the field. There must be someone else. What about your fascinating hut scientist, Dr. Ogarob? He must have something in his bag of tricks that can tell us anything about this artifact. Wouldn't hurt to try. You make an excellent point. We'll go now and see what he has to say. Lead the way. I am eager to learn what secrets this relic may be hiding. Okay. Go find out. Speak to Dr. Ogurum. I haven't talked to him in forever. Oh, we're bringing Darth Rivix with us as our companion. Nice. Slept a full eight hours last night. First time since Coruscant. All right. So this one's kind of interesting so far. Honestly, I really need to watch like a recap on everything that happens. I know you could look at your own inventory and like storylines, but characters like Rivix, I kind of forget. Same thing with the other lady that you just met. Sovu, I don't even remember at all, but that's also why I want to do an entire playthrough with either a Jedi or a, uh, or a Sith, Sith warrior. Every time I think that's Hera, it's not though. I know. It's like Heta. Not now, Sahar. Sahar, that's what it is. Heta is the uh, bounty hunter try. lady. I know you have it in you. That's not what your precious Jedi said. Is that it's thing? what I'm saying. Enough! Found my way without your sorcery. Had to cut my slave collar with yeah. this. 
She gave me a choice. Die, or fight back. I fought, and I excelled, Sahar. The day I became a Mandalorian, I knew I found my home. I hoped you would find success. You always had fire. I had little choice. Some earn what they have. Some are given everything. And some lose it all. You dare speak to me about suffering? Even the best armor has flaws. Spaces between plates of Beskar steel where blood can be drawn. The events of Runok have shown me our flaws. I planned for Shevisla to find us. She did. I challenged her and was nearly defeated. An outcome that was not expected. How could my plans so miss the mark? I asked myself. I looked and looked and finally found my answer. Someone doesn't honor their agreements. Someone values credits over their own life. Hey, hey, now! What's going on here? Bask Sun. With the right guidance, I had hoped your kind would be worthy of our cause. Yeah, of course! That's always been the plan! I learned that you used your pretty machines in the duel on Runok. No doubt why Shay fared as well as she did. What? No! It was the other way around. I wanted you to win. You beat Shay, we do this war thing, we all get rich! So you used your machine on Shay, and she still bested me? Yes! I mean, no! I'm not saying that! Okay, let me explain! Oh, oh. oh, that's brutal. No need. Damn. That was the guy that was Darmanda trying to bargain is our with me. Enemy. Because of him, we lost Runok. Because of me, we gained a great deal more. Sahar, can you come up here? This one brought me something taken from the clutches of Darth Malgus. Something so powerful both the Sith and the Jedi race across the galaxy to claim it. With Sahar's help, we can unlock its secrets. I told you, Hedda. We shouldn't do this. It's not safe. You're right. It's never safe to change a galaxy. Never easy to fight corruption and hypocrisy. But your brother said you would face Anything to restore balance. Each of you will gather the resources needed to make my vision a reality. You will have your assignments, but none will know the whole plan except myself and Sahar. At long last, we will take back what is ours. Woo. All right. Oh, he's got it. I meant to say before, I ran into your old friend when I found Null's relic, Tao Adair. She put up quite a fight. She tries so fiercely to hide her contempt Yet she fails spectacularly. Her self-righteousness is a poor mask. She could barely restrain herself during an impartial negotiation on Mekshar. She made a mess of things on Corellia. No doubt we will cross paths with her again. I'm certain the Jedi will not rest until she has rescued the wayward Padawan. Over here, I do believe I've found something. Oh. Okay. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, what did it look like? How did it work? 
The intricacies of the device were fascinating. I would be more than happy to go over the details. Let's talk about the relic. You said you found something, Ogorob. I want to hear more. Of course. If you can spare a moment, Lord Rivix, we can speak afterward. Until then, I performed a scan that can identify dormant energy signatures. Even if all that's left is the smallest trace, invisible to instruments you would find in more modest facilities. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. Okay, more. Uh, excellent work. That is quite the find. You did well. I aim to please. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. That is curious. Before recent decades, Sith did not typically use Adegan crystals. They were favored by Jedi in Darth Null's lifetime, if she lived as long ago as we hypothesize. So why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Hmm. The answer may be more apparent than we think. We know Darth Null created the Children of the Emperor. Perhaps she used the crystals in her method of binding Jedi prey to her master. From everything I've heard about the Children of the Emperor, it makes sense. And who knows what else she designed that has yet to be uncovered? In theory, the possibilities are limitless from all she seemed to know. Someone who does not shy away from knowledge, no matter its source, in order to create, to expand their awareness, it is admirable. I'm not sure the victims of Null's mind control techniques would agree, but I see your point. This might be the time to speak to Malgus again. You can ask about the interesting discoveries we've made here today. It's worth a try. We're getting closer to understanding how Darth Null worked, but we still don't know what Malgus is trying to imitate. Not for certain, at least. Perhaps this new discovery will entice him to speak. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. Good work, you two. Thank you both for your help on this. It has been my pleasure. I am more than happy to be of service. Now, Dr. Ogorob, about that containment device. Okay. Not too bad, actually. I'm kind of impressed with the the last, like, with the last storyline that we did, and now this one so far. I mean, that was what twenty minute cutscenes, actual dialogue, like building up to everything. So it it's picking up a bit. Speak with Darth Malgus. So we gotta go back over to the Imperial fleet and have a chat with uh, Malgus again. I don't know if it's just getting easier for them to uh, to do this or if things are starting to slowly pick up. I mean, I can definitely see since like everything's owned by Disney now, I can definitely see them saying like, hey, every time there's new stuff coming out, like May 4th, there was a bunch of shows and like uh, sales and everything. So they've really been pushing Star Wars. Uh, anytime one thing of Star Wars comes out, another thing gets updated. Wow, look at this. this place is packed right now, too. It's really cool to see. Alright, let's uh let's head over to the prison level. Go have a chat with him. Look at the chat you had nice. with Dr. Ogorob paints a better picture of what Malgus may have been up to. Darth Knoll's work on mind control says a lot, but combining Sith and Jedi toys? That's big news. Malgus following in the footsteps of someone with Jedi connections is a plot twist I wasn't expecting. Never mind had a Cole getting her hands on Darth Knoll's holocron. Any, uh, well... Will talking to Malgus help? 
Malchus told us his plan will succeed, no matter what. Which makes knowing what's on that holocron even more important, and he's our only lead. We're not running blind, however. What we learned about Darth Null's Jedi influence does give us something to go on, though admittedly not much. Heads up. Looks like we have a special guest. Tell these droids to get out of my way! I need to speak to Malgus. Oh boy. They answer only to the Empress and cannot be overridden, Shay. Some higher-up is all sweaty about my past contracts with Malgus. They've got no understanding of how those things work. One of those contracts was destroying the defense grid on Coruscant during an Imperial invasion. I was there to do a job. I did it and moved on. You should understand that. Perhaps. But permission to interrogate the prisoner is restricted to a select few. I'm going to find out if he's working with Hedda, with or without permission. Jay's not on the list? She's the leader of the Mandalorians. Shouldn't she have access? She can take that up with the powers that be. Right now, we're wasting time. Yes, we are. Time you don't have. I need you to trust me. Like back on Runic. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm. I'll take your help. We'll work together on this. Smart move. Doesn't change the fact that Shay isn't on the VIP list. Then put me on comms. Comms? To listen in? That's fine. Good idea. More than that, we'll Shay make it can work. do advice during my questioning. Malgus had a few bad habits when I worked with him. I'm betting they're still there. If you listen to me, we can trip him up. Risky. But the situation calls for it. At least we'll be in full control. If anything seems wrong, we can shut it down. Very well. Get some answers. All right. Everyone be on your guard. Time to pay our guest a visit. Ready? Always. Ready. There we go. Time to go have a little chat. She's listening in. We meet again, Malgus. Bottom line, threats are useless against Malgus. He fears nothing. You keep talking about putting an end to what he wants, and we'll get nowhere. Make him think you understand. That's the key to getting anything out of him. Tell me what you tell me about your plan. If you explain to me what you hope to accomplish, maybe I can help you. Maybe there's another way to finish what you started. A way that others will accept. Few minds can comprehend my vision. We are without equals. That is true. You and I have a unique perspective. Perhaps that is why they parade you in front of me. Good start. Try asking him something. Why work with Hedda Cole? I was surprised to learn that Hedda Cole was part of your plan. She wasn't. My designs are much greater than her petty civil war. The Mandalorians are fractured, a broken people. They struggle to decide who they are. An endless cycle of waste and fodder. Useless. Big talk from inside that cell. <laughs> Mandalorians are more than that. They only seek to fight their own. And when the victors emerge, they will turn their weapons on one another. Again and again. None of it will matter when the galaxy burns. I will tear apart the corrupt systems that allow weakness to infect the galaxy. I will stop the rot. 
I will burn down all of their failing legacies and see who embraces the flame. More of his mystical Osik. What about the Holocron? Does Hedda have something she can use against my people? Who whispers in your ear? He knows. Oh. Shave, Vizla. Don't speak to her. This is between you and me, Malgus. It is too late. Your thoughts are plain to me, Mandalore the Avenger. Your rage consumes you. There was a battle, and your prey slipped through your fingers. Your people are divided, while Heta Kull gathers her army. You are right to come begging for answers. Heta will destroy you. Where is she? Dindila Hutun, answer me! looms over us all, a shadow of unchanging history. There are fools who believe they can outrun the shadow. Without a flame to chase it away, it will consume them. They are doomed to repeat the same failures. None who have stood by my side have understood this. The only one who could have is my enemy. A shame that you and I must remain that way. All your plans have caused so much damage. I don't know how we could ever be anything else. Oof. <laughs> Damn. I feel, I feel like we just broke up with him right there. Greetings. I'm relieved you answered. I must make an unusual request. Sana, right? I feel like I kind of remember her. Go ahead. What's going on? Is everything all right? Yes. For the moment, I have been summoned by the three. What they had to say has left me disquieted. Meet me at these coordinates on Voss, and I will explain in greater detail. Who are the three? Who summoned you? Are you in any trouble? I am in no trouble. The three are leaders of Voss. There was a matter they wished to discuss. Some confusion they wanted clarified. Then I'll go to Voss right away, and you can tell me more. I will await your arrival. Voss. Hmm. Well, at least it's nice this time of year. We have enough mysteries to contend with without getting the Voss involved. They're not exactly known for being straightforward. Sana Ray sounded unlike herself. I do hope whatever she has to tell you isn't too troubling. I always, I always thought the Voss planet was pretty interesting. That's like one of the planets that I always remember going through during all the storylines that I enjoyed. All right, let's uh, let's head there. Meet up with Sana Ray. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of impressed with all the uh, storylines so far. 
And I mean, to be honest, to be fair, it's just more than what what I remember. I remember when Onslaught came out and like some of them were like two dialogues and there was no no like voice acting even at, at times. And it was just talking to the uh, the people that don't have um, don't have any dialogue where it's just it, it's more like KOTOR style. But right now we're actually making some choices. That that moment with Malgus was cool. Oh, this is an is this a new location? It shows as if it's like undis uh undiscovered for me right now. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Ah, shoot. Keep doing that by accident. Oh, yeah. I think that this one has the uh, animation on it. I forget how you do it. It's like Malgus's chamber, I think. Command chamber. Yep. That's what it is. see what's going on here. Arkan, hey. Look who You're it here. is. Thonare hoped you would come quickly. A nice surprise. Arkan, I wasn't expecting to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. I am glad to have returned with something useful, I hope. Thonare didn't tell me you'd be here. You caught me off guard. I am sure it slipped her mind. She has been speaking to some other Voss about something, and she has seemed unsettled. You have arrived. Good. I have been waiting to show you this. When we first uncovered the existence of Darth Null, I could not imagine that tracing the origins of one of her relics would lead here. The strange ruins Arkan found on the planet in wild space. They were resistant to his presence for a reason. But together we found something. What you are about to see. Darth Null possessed a talent that was unique among her kind. Through the Force, she could connect her mind to another's. Darth Null could speak to someone's most hidden desires. Reach depths of their thoughts they could not reach themselves. Over great distances, she could mentally bond with anyone who could feel the Force. In those who did not recognize their own abilities, she awakened that realization. Sharing this knowledge was unacceptable to those around Darth Null. She was ostracized, friendless. Darth Null took those who would follow her to an empty world in wild space where they could do as they pleased, without judgment. Null taught her disciples how to forge mental bonds as she did. They called out to others and invited them to their sanctuary. But Darth Null was careless. She made contact with someone she shouldn't have. The Sith Emperor, as he was then. He took advantage of her mistake. He ruthlessly pursued her. Before the Emperor could reach her followers, Null locked many of their secrets away in the ruins Arkan found. Null and the others fought back against their captors, but their fate was sealed. The Emperor dominated the minds of her disciples, bent them to his will, enslaved them. After that day, Null's followers became servants of the Emperor, and she became Darth Null. Whoa. That was horrible. You, wait, she wasn't always a Sith? If the Emperor made her Darth Null after she was captured, who was she before? She was no one. At least, not after she was expelled from the Jedi Order. That explains. Darth Null didn't just build her lightsaber with Jedi resources. 
she was a Jedi. For a time. The account of Darth Null's removal from the Jedi is told from her own perspective. We do not know much about what transpired before that, other than what she was called, Master Renaya. Every time we learn something about Darth Null, it adds more pieces to the puzzle, and we still don't know what she did that inspired Malgus's plans. But now the truth has come to light. If Malgus wanted to hide it forever, he failed. All that you found about Darth Null. Why did I have to come to Vos to hear it? After I heeded the Three's request to return to Vos, I heard whisperings. Rumors of a vision that caused great concern among the mystics. The Three forbade them to speak about what was seen. A revelation centered on Darth Malgus. Why the secrecy? Why would the Three let anyone know what's in this vision? It could be something that affects them. Just as they refused to explain the contents of the vision, they refused to give a reason. It is their right. The three know well the value you would place on hearing the details of this vision. But they would never share them with an outsider, even one of your status, unless you gave them a reason to. Hmm. Will they tell another boss? Can't you ask them about the vision? I... They would not reveal it to me. But there is another way. Despite our best efforts, some of our most sacred temples have yet to be rebuilt in the years since Valen's assault. The Shrine of Contemplation is too deep within Gormak lands. The work is slow, even with aid from the few Gormak who have chosen to continue their alliance with the Voss. The three are overseeing progress at the Shrine of Contemplation now. If you were to approach them, and offer your assistance, perhaps you will change their minds about the vision. With luck, they will be receptive to one with your gracious reputation. That's what it takes. I will do anything I can to stop Malgus. If helping rebuild will get the three to share information, it's a small price to pay. I'd like to speak with you for a moment, before you depart. Here are the coordinates for the Shrine of Contemplation. I will send a message ahead to the commandos there to expect your arrival. Okay. Let's have a chat with Arkin. What do you got? You wanted to speak to me about something? All this talk of visions, it reminded me. Something strange happened while I was away. As I searched Darth Maul's ruins, every step I took felt so familiar, like I had been there before. With your fa- wait. With Valkorion? Darth Null was captured from that place by the Emperor. Did your father, when he was Valkorion, did he ever return there? If he had, he would have never allowed me to accompany him. Something I'm grateful for now. It was confusing, distressingly so. I was so certain I had stood on the surface of that empty world, even though I could not remember when or why. I spoke with San Array about this sense of familiarity. It didn't take long before she understood what I was feeling. I was there, in those ruins, once before, during the ritual in the Shrine of Healing. How is that possible? I am unsure. This realization awakened other memories of what I saw while the Voss healed me. I believed they were dreams at the time, but Sana Ray believes otherwise. She says they were visions. Like the Voss? Visions of the future. Like the Voss mystics who performed your healing ritual. Yes, the very same. In the ritual, the mystics infused part of their spirit with yours. It is not uncommon for a mystic's gifts to be shared with the one they are cleansing. They open my mind to unreachable distances. The past. What may happen. What never will. In truth, it is all still a blur. It was as if I lived decades in the span of hours. I saw centuries worth of horrors committed by my father. I felt the rage and the cruelty born of my desperation to please him. The suffering. 
and the devastation I caused, it was all made plain to me. When I learned what my father had done in Darth Maul's ruins, old fears resurfaced. I was afraid I saw those ruins because I was doomed to follow in his footsteps. But there were visions of hope as well, of serving a greater purpose. I saw the work I could do, how I could dedicate myself to atonement. Like helping you stop Darth Malgus, reliving that vision. It reminded me that I have far to go before I can be forgiven for all that I inflicted upon others. If that is even possible. But I am moving in the right direction. Good way of looking at it. We can't know for certain when the things you've done will fade from memory, but you shouldn't give up. It will be difficult. But any journey worth undertaking is. You're right. I have fought so many battles in my life. Only now I have found something worth fighting for. I don't think I could have ever seen things in this light without your help. There will never be enough I can do to thank you. Of course. Okay, not bad. I forgot you can show hide this. Yeah, I was just curious for a second. Is that the backpack's part of my my thing, I guess? Yeah, the, the uh, chest piece. Okay, so we need to travel over to the Inner Trepid's Retreat. And meet the Shrine Restoration Initiative leaders. Jeez. All right, well, let's make our way over there then. I guess this is, this seems like the same location as previous boss bots, but maybe it's just a little bit different uh, because yeah, this is a storyline. I'm really undecided on whether I'll go back and do my, uh, I kind of want to do another like Jedi Knight and a Jedi Warrior playthrough. And then eventually I would like to do like, honestly, all of them again, because it's been so long. And those are long series, but I, the thing is, I want to go through all of the expansions again too, because I haven't played those in so long. That's the biggest thing. Plus Shadow of Revan. Ah, oh, they're so oh dude, they're so good. There's everything. I, I love that stuff. I do plan on doing it at some point. I had hoped the three's presence would encourage everyone to work harder. Let's see what we Nothing got here. Bodom. Oh, it's gonna be a Kotor dialogue. Okay. I am Maiden Jaw. This is Kodom. Sana Ray sent word that you would be joining us. Don't blame Markin for what happened here. He's responsible for many things, but he was just a victim of his sister's attack on this world. The you keep the company of strange associates. I wonder, is it a testament to your character? Uh, everyone I work with is by my side for a reason. If you want my help, you'll have to accept that. Me go worry that boy, Chikamra. Call me boy, hey, triole. Together. We, the Shrine Restoration Initiative, have rebuilt much of the damage inflicted during the Eternal Empire's attack. Many shrines in the vicinity of Voska are fully restored. Hmm. You're still at war after all this time? 
We understand that you hope for an audience with the three. They are here, but wholly consumed with seeing us expedite our work on the Shrine of Contemplation. Should you help us arrive at our goal? Pran viemoni ho vabaka vihu troi kwa tu fulam. Most rankiti mi ku konua. Quanta elapa uat one yam dan piokutova. Oh, the droids. Komniku wai bam nui chotai fai lai angor sun nei lam sao. They have lost control of the excavation droids. That is troubling. Puavaska, bam kig nagungham trong wang lao, the chao trokja. Wait. Before one enters the Shrine of Judgment, one must be cleansed. The workers perform this ritual before entering the Shrine. The outsider must do the same. Boyisigro, uvak, rangba, gabafute. The outsider will prevent any harm from coming to them. But unless the ritual is performed, desecration of the shrine is assured. I need to get to the workers. Every second counts. I have faith that this simple task will not deter someone with your skill. I cannot force you to do the cleansing ritual, outsider, especially in this urgent situation. But should you choose to honor the customs of Voss. Go to the Altar of Clarity, at the edge of the settlement. I will guide you through the ritual. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we got two things here. Enter the Shrine of Judgment and complete task for the Shrine restoration work amok oh so yeah it's you've got regular boss and then you got intrepid's retreat okay i see i see how it's working let's see so it's all the way over there we can try uh knocking this out this is the altar of clarity to begin the ritual Gather sacred incense Retrieve from those incense. and burn it. Okay. Burn the incense. Good. Now you must wash the ash from your hands. Wash your hands. Use the base. I'll do this. Thank you, outsider. You are free to enter the Shrine of Judgment. Enter the Shrine of Judgment. Alright, let's get over there. Here we go. Yeah, this storyline's actually been... Like, I've not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> I guess that's what, kind of what you get when you have a little bit of low standards, to be fair. Oh, shoot. I need to pull out a companion. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. This is unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have anybody with me. Yeah, we'll, we'll revive here, but then I'll just back up a little bit. I don't know who would be fitting for this. I mean, I could bring HK. Because it seems like... Right now, it doesn't seem like it matters. If they're really that important of a character, then they'll they'll come with you for spots. Or for certain things. But, uh, yeah, let's bring, bring HK51 here. System's ready. Why not? He's wearing his classic I dreadnought outfit. Running only delays the inevitable. 
Nice. Alright, where is it at? Work amok. Help restoration workers to safety. Ah, oh, shoot. I meant to do this. Beautiful. You guys are good. Keep going. I remember why. I was going to say, why do I have rifle shot in number one? But I remember I have it there because that way if we're on the move, I can still do damage. Especially during like flashpoints, if there's specific areas that are gonna get hit, or like there's an AOE about to go off, damage effect, then I can still do some damage. Kind of reminded me. Wait for that to hit, and there we go. I love. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I need to move some of these around. I don't know why I have... Alright, let me actually do that real quick. Because while we've got these, I'm going to move distraction down here. That up there. This right there. I feel like that's how I initially had it, maybe? Immediately finish this, the cooldown of penetrating blasts. Increases base energy. Okay, I should swap these two. Then what's this one? Ambush. Swap this. That way they're like they're like the same thing. All I need to do is hold circle. This will replenish that ability. Cover pulse. Honestly, I can move that around. They're like right there. Because they never really get that close to me. Feel like this makes more Thank sense. You, outsider. And now I don't need to press uh, control for every interaction that I do. Reloading. Ready. Yeah, that's much better. I don't know why I had it the other way. All right, we got one more group. I still, still really enjoy the sniper class. I did unlock the... So for the second combat style for this guy, I unlocked Commando. Because I always... I don't know. Something about having a big LMG, I, I really enjoy as well. But I haven't really used it yet. I've always been... Uh, rocking the... Sniper style. Even though I do have it now. Just lie down. One of these days. A shot. Alright. We're almost there. Locate the artifact team leader. Oh god. You know what? We'll use our legacy ability. 
heroic moment. Some force lightning. Hell yeah. You're already dead. Just lie down. I right, is almost dead. Yep, that's it. GG. Got him. You're not one of the invaders. I'm not. Yes, though it was a risk, I had to respect the traditions. Also, it was pretty fast. The droids have been cleared to the entrance. It's safe to make your way out. Your distress call came in when I met with the leaders of the initiative. I couldn't sit by and do nothing. Oh boy. Who are you going to ask? So he wants me to get some artifacts for him? I understand. I'll get the artifacts back for you. My efforts will be remembered. They better be. Where are these artifacts? Recover five artifacts from sliced droids. Is that one? Let's try it. Let's find out. Thing is still active for another minute. Increasing combat efficiency. Nice. That's one of them. Oh, shoot. <laughs> How does that work? Giving them the legacy dirty kick to a droid? Huh, I wonder. Maybe you kiss, kick it in the uh, processing unit. Something like that. Why can I not hit him with the... Oh, it's because I'm not in cover? No. go. Alright, it's two of them. Jeez. Ah! I right click to move the camera and sometimes it just like freaks out. Let's hit him with this. Three of them. Seems like it's always the uh, the cargo droids that drop it the most. Let's we'll see if these guys get it at all. Nice. 
Nice. Yep, there's another one. And wow, they had two. Sweet. Is the work leader back in this spot? Yeah, he is. The same room that we just came from. The Star Fortress. Commander. Alright. Maki. It was nothing. The devices could tell us more about who attacked you. I'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. So we gotta find some more devices for them. Unwelcome visitors. Examine and scan planted devices. Huh. Well. Might as well get to work. Thought I heard something. Nice. Some of the, yeah, every time this side, uh, I remember the takedown is pretty good because it does some pretty crazy damage at times. There's like 30,000. Uh, here's one of the devices. Oh. Device, whatever it is, is a strange combination of elegant and ingenuous. Okay. Don't even read that in time. There's two more right here. Another strange device, and the final one. Alright, that's all three. The ritual is important to the Voss. You must just you might disagree, but I remain impartial. Mm. He lost most of his family to the boss. It's not even. Oh boy. Working together is the only way forward to this world. The there will always be friction and doubt, but you must believe in each other. Mm -mm. And that is why I know you had nothing to do with this, despite some poisonous thinking. Send me the coordinates, I'll find out what I what I can. 
I'll see what I can find. Okay. Unwelcome visitors aid Gormax workers against the invaders. Oops. Where is that one at? Up north here. Yep. All right, let's keep it going. There's somebody else here. Oh, there's two people doing these. Not bad. Cashmere. <laughs> and Grio. Please use all products only as intended. All right, what do we got here? You're already dead. Just lie down. I will never get tired of the HK lines. You're already dead. Just lie down. It is a little bit weird seeing him in the uh, Dreadnought outfit still. I always forget that I have that customization for him. Okay. I swear, this, the suppressive fire is just so good sometimes. Being able to take out groups of enemies like that. Statement. I have no information for you, Master. Shall we continue liquidating the undesirables? Yes, we shall. Go after these guys. There's another group over here. Since we have so many other companions helping us too, or allies, it's not that bad doing this. Get to the central office. All right. I always forget that we have like rocket boost. <laughs> I don't think I've been using it at all during this, during this run or, uh, Play through. Oh boy. Eyes on the floor. Do you hear me? We can't have you running around messing things up. What did I just say about not moving? Damn. Stay put. It's for your own good. Heads up, we got an intruder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Stand down all now. Right. right into combat. I don't have time for this. Neither do I. Oh shoot. All right. I didn't move out the way in time. I don't have time for this. That might kill the field medic. Oh, maybe not. Damn. Destroyed them. Alec, you good? Alright, 
Nei so fondi ko na da nei wa ei at tanan ni matan. Sure what you did. I'm sure you did what you thought was best for your people. Wa waska. Bam ki na bungham trong wang lao. The chao trok sha. Nei so fondi ko na da nei wa ei at tanan ni matan. Then for you to gain Achnan Chok Tontai, they begor the Sophon. Be the what? Dingo Tango. The truce with the Voss will protect you and your people from this happening in the future. Wawaska, Bam Kip Nabungham Trongwang Blau, the Chow Trokja, the Sophon, the Then for you to gain Achnan. Alright, time to go speak with Kodom. Oh, we can actually use our mountain side here? I didn't realize that. Z back over. I'm not sure if I have a fast travel point there. Ooh, I do. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this kind of feels like a planetary story right now. Like the previous ones that you could do. It's kind of cool, though. I heard there were mystics who volunteered to survey the Shrine of Silence. We are trying to repair the droids as quickly as we can. Right, here we are. Their reprogramming has been extensive. It is He's impressed with what I've done so far. There is a considerable amount of Gormak technology in this. How did the invaders come to possess this? Kodam hmm. should be the one to tell you. I appreciate your honesty. The actions of a few should not reflect the will of all Gormak. The truce stands firm. The only way to stop groups like Sterska is by working together. You are correct. The next step is to learn all we can about them. Our researchers will study this device and divine its purpose. Doing so will allow us to track the invaders and avoid unnecessary destruction. Your actions have given us leverage in this fight, but the harm done has been extensive. Our work in the Shrine of Contemplation was already behind. Zerka's presence has thrown the reconstruction into chaos. Some damage can be repaired. But if we cannot complete the restoration, it will leave a lasting scar. Until the work has resumed, the three will not turn their attention to you. Oh no. What can I do? Your offer to help is a telling display of empathy for both the Gormak and the Voss. I want you to understand why all this is so critical to us. You are very skilled at what you do. Rare talent combined with training that sets you apart. Now, imagine you are part of a society that works to hone your abilities to a greater purpose. Our shrines are built for this singular purpose. But now those shrines, built over generations, are destroyed. Reduced to rubble by the Eternal Empire. In that moment, it was as if our eyes were shut. We were cut off from our purpose. We do not restore buildings. We ignite our purpose once more. Until we find that light again, everything else, the invaders, the truce, the relics, is secondary. Thanks for explaining. You have more than earned the right to understand. But we cannot sit idle during this time. We need help in ways other than stopping the invaders. Offer your skills, and the three will notice. Do you understand? 
Wabaska, Bam Kip Nagungham Tromwang Lao, the Chao Trucksha. The importance of what they do cannot be understated. Now, I must update the three on the situation. They will be understandably curious about how the invaders obtained Gormak technology. We the what? Dingo Dango. Why would the Gormak agree to work to, with Zerseka? Then for Vudagan Achnan Chok Tontari, Vebegor, the Safon. That's that's fair. <laughs> Why would also. The, yeah, the same thing. I believe the truce is better off. For all, but it's not a better path. Easy path. Drojin Trankan. Then for Vudagan Achnan Chok Tontari, Vebegor, the Safon. Okay. Help out restoration efforts. Oh no, wait, do we have to do <laughs> Okay, so there's a flashpoint now. Help wanted. Do I have to do all of them or is it just the let's see. The researchers investigate. Uh let's see. There are many ways. Completing these tasks will also increase the likelihood that the three will extend an offer for you. Okay, cool. Well, uh, chat, this has actually been going on a little bit longer than I expected it to, but that's okay. Because uh, next time we can go ahead and continue on. If you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. I appreciate all the support. Uh, still, we've got a bit to go until 7.5, but I'm glad I'm taking the time to do it now. And then eventually we'll be doing some storylines too. So... Should be a good time. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.